Hey there, Gemini. Welcome back to your weekly reading with Unicorn Tarot. Let's take a look at your energies for this week, your past energies, current energies, and your near future energies, along with any energies that the universe would like for you to keep in mind this week. Also, guys, please remember these are general readings. They may not resonate for everyone. If they don't resonate for you, make sure to check out your other places. All right, energies for Gemini this week. That's your past. Present. Your future. Okay, Gemini, the main energy that you're going to be dealing with this week or the energy that you're going to be coming across a lot is the moon. Something is hidden, possibly some secrets could be hidden from you. So someone is keeping secrets from you, or it could just be stuff that you are not aware of that are in your subconscious, which haven't surfaced. They haven't made it to your conscious mind. So we'll see more about what that is all about. In your recent past, you get the Ace of Cups, the Four of Wands, the Eight of Swords. There's a new beginning in love here. There's a commitment. And so I see you, th there's a commitment coming up for you in your recent past. It's either restarting again. So this is a commitment from your past, which is restarting. Either way, there's a new beginning in love showing up for you here with a new person or someone from your past. And you are all up in your head about it with all your fears and all your thoughts. In your current situation, we get the Three of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, the Three of Wands. I feel like this is someone from your past because the Three of Cups is all about bringing something back, reconciling. Um, and I see that whoever this is from your past, there's a desire here to reconcile. There's a new beginning happening. You have two aces, three aces on the table. Something is definitely happening. Something is definitely, you know, moving. Um, and so there is a new beginning here with this person from your past that you're reconciling with. But there's also a lot of waiting, waiting and planning. We'll see what that is when we clarify. In your near future, you get the Queen of Wands, the Ace of Wands, the Ten of Cups. This is someone that you are very, very attracted to. There's a lot of passion here. And again, gender doesn't matter in tarot. This could be man, woman, hamster, alien, whatever. Um, someone that you are very, very attracted to. There's a lot of passion here. And I see you rekindling that spark. So again, either restarting this relationship from your past, restarting the, the dynamic, um, bringing it back, kind of, you know, igniting that spark again and there's a lot of happiness that comes along with it pisces so let's take a look at your energies let's clarify let's start off by clarifying this ace of cups in your recent past what is this ace of cups about in the recent past for gemini sorry i know i called you pisces i meant gemini that moon is staring right at me and i'm like pisces no gemini these are gemini's energies and the Ace of Cups in your recent past. Ace of Cups is clarified by the Justice, the Ten of Cups, the Five of Cups. This is definitely someone from your past. There's some emotional pain here coming up. This could be you. This could be your person. I feel like this is you, though. There's emotional past. Something happened in the past which caused hurt, caused pain to you and the other person. Um... And so you want this new beginning in love with them and you want to achieve a sense of balance because through this balance, there's going to be happiness. And so you want to be happy. You want to achieve a sense of ba balance with them that is going to bring about happiness as well through this new beginning in love with this person. Despite the fact that there is some emotional pain from the past that you may be holding on to showing up. Let's take a look at this four of wands in your recent past. What it, okay. Two more, please. What is the Four of Wands in the recent past for Gemini? The Four of Wands is clarified by the Hangman, the Seven of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, you are feeling a little stuck. It seems like something right now is not moving, despite the fact that the energies are definitely there for it to move. Either you or your person or the both of you want to put in the work, okay? There's a lot of self-nurturing going on, so you are taking care of yourself right now. You are focusing on you, but I also see you wanting to put in the work to make this energy move so that it's not stuck, but to also make this relationship work, this dynamic work. Let's take a look at this Eight of Swords. 
showing up in your recent past. Eight of Swords in the recent past for Gemini. Queen of Wands showing up again in your recent past and in your near future. For the Eight of Swords, you get the Four of Cups, the Queen of Wands, the Five of Pentacles. Definitely someone from your past. There is a sense of a separation or a breakup here that happened in your recent past. Now, it doesn't have to necessarily be happening currently in your recent past. This could be the far, far past where you guys broke up. Um, you guys were separated. There is a sense of separation here. So I don't think you're actually with this person right now. And I see you showing up as very unhappy about the fact that you guys are separated and very much up in your head about the fact that you're separated because there is a lot of passion and attraction towards this person. And I see you showing up as not very pleased with the fact that you guys are not together at the moment. And again, this um, could be you, this could be your person, but this is your reading, so I'm putting this on you. Let's take a look at the Three of Cups in your current situation. What is this Three of Cups in the current situation for Gemini? Three of Cups is clarified by the Tower, the Knight of Swords, the Hermit. You are going through a transformative process where you're learning a lot about yourself. You're gaining a lot of knowledge about yourself. Um, you're kind of going within and really figuring out what you want, what you don't want, getting in touch with your emotions um, that is happening for you right now. As a result of that, I see you getting a realization or experiencing a realization where all of a sudden you're just like, I need to take action. I need to move in this person's direction. Like I need to do something. So as you're going in, as you're like gaining all this internal knowledge, as a result of that, you're going to come to the realization. And this is going to be very suddenly that, Hey, I need to move in this person's direction. I need to take action. I need to make something happen here um, in your current situation with this person from your past that you have a lot of passion towards. Let's take a look at the Ace of Pentacles in your current situation. What is this Ace of Pentacles in the current situation all about? Ace of Pentacles is clarified by the Seven of Cups, the Temperance, the Six of Swords. You may have options here. You may have different players in the game. So you may have more than one person that you are dealing with. Um, and I see you moving away from one of these options. You, there, there may be multiple people involved here, okay? So not just this one person that you're very attracted to. And again, this could be you, this could be your person, but this is your reading, I'm putting this on you. There may be multiple people that are offering you love here, but I see you like kind of almost making a decision um, as a result of going within and kind of moving away, moving away from all these different options, moving away from, from this desire to pursue anything else. Let's take a look at this Three of Wands in your current situation. What is the Three of Wands in the current situation for Gemini? Three of Wands is clarified by the Four of Wands, the Nine of Cups, the Five of Wands. Again, you moved away from these different options. You had other players, you know, you're like, eh, whatever. You moved away from them. You're like, I'm done with you. I don't want anybody else. You're focusing on this commitment. And this commitment is showing up for you again. It showed up in your recent past. It's showing up again in your current situation. You want this commitment. You want emotional fulfillment, emotional balance. Like you really want this commitment. I can tell. It's almost like a wish for you, but there's also a lot of conflict showing up for you here. Um, this could be either conflict with the person that you're dealing with, the person in this commitment, which there's like bickering, there's arguing, you guys may be disagreeing, um, which is causing a sense of conflict. Or this could also be uh, internally where it's like you, you know, you within yourself and you're just kind of like, you know, going back and forth, unable to decide which path you should take, unable to decide how you should pursue this, whether you should pursue this because there is conflict, because of everything that happened and because of this emotional past and separation, um, emotional pain and separation that happened in your past. So didn't ask a question, spirit. Just giving me a ton of cards. <laughs> Let's clarify the queen of wands in your near future, which also showed up in your recent past. What is this queen of wands in the near future for Gemini?
Queen of Wands is clarified by the Eight of Swords, the Three of Wands, the Death. You're done. You're done waiting. You're done waiting. You're done being all up in your head about it. I feel like you may have gone through a lot of thoughts, a lot of back and forth, like, what about this? And what about this? And if I say this and they say this and, you know, really like creating a little mental prison for yourself in your head. I see you walking away from that after all this thoughts and basically mind effing yourself into oblivion about this and waiting and waiting. You're kind of like, I'm done waiting. I'm done overthinking this. Like I'm moving in this person's direction. I have so much passion for them. I'm so attracted to them. They make me happy. I'm done thinking about this. Like I'm taking action and moving in this person's direction. Um, but yeah, you're definitely done thinking. You're definitely done being all up in your head about it. Let's take a look at this Eight of Wands in your near future. Ace of Wands in the near future for Gemini. Ace of Wands is clarified by the Three of Cups, the Two of Wands, the Hierophant. You want to reconcile with this person. You're bringing this back. This person from your past, you're bringing it back. You're rekindling that spark. You're reconciling with them. I see a little bit of waiting. A little bit of waiting simply because this shows up as a very long-term commitment. So this could be a marriage. If it's not a marriage, it's something that you have been in for a very, very long time. It's stable. It feels like a marriage. Um, and the intensity of this or the, the, how serious it is might, you know, scare you just a little bit. And so I see a bit of waiting in your near future, but I also see the reconciling. I see the commitment. I see the Ace of Wands taking action, making this happen, bringing this commitment back, bringing this relationship back, uh, showing up in your near future. Let's take a look at this 10 of cups in your near future. What is this 10 of cups all about in your near future? Ten of Cups. In, oh, they don't fall. They don't get taken. Ten of Cups in the near future for Gemini. Ten of Cups is clarified by the Nine of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles, the High Priestess. There's a little bit of resistance on your part here. You're slowly, slowly moving past this resistance because I see that this person, whoever it is, brings you a lot of happiness. Lots of happiness that showed up twice here. Um, there's a little bit of resistance to it. There's a little bit of like uh, a tiny bit of like stay back. Like you make me happy, but there are some internal fears which are probably popping up for you where you're kind of like resisting and pushing back a little bit. But I slowly see you moving past that. I see you moving past that and I see you letting your intuition guide you and really listening to your intu intuition. And I see that that's what's helping you move past this slowly. Very, 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 very slowly but you're still moving past it and you're moving in the direction of this person uh, showing up in your near future. So let's take a look at which energies the universe would like for you to keep in mind this week, Gemini. For the energies that you need to keep in mind this week, you get the Justice, the Page of Pentacles, the Empress. Again, this person, you are very attracted to them. You really have a lot of feelings for them. They are all that and a bag of chips and, you know, ooh, there's a lot, a lot of love there, okay? You really, really find them very attractive. I see you being open to moving in their direction. You are slowly moving in their direction, but I also see you wanting to achieve a sense of balance first. First, you want to create like a, a balanced energy, an equal give and take, um, something that feels fair to the both of you. And then I see you slowly opening up and moving in the direction of this person. Okay. So Gemini, that is what I have for you this week. Thank you so much for tuning into your reading. If you found that this reading resonated, please do me a huge favor. Give me a thumbs up, drop a comment below and hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out with YouTube. And of course, thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you here for your reading next week.